In this video, you'll learn to convert kilograms to grams and then grams to kilograms. But to start off, one kilogram, that has the mass of a one liter bottle of water. That would weigh one kilogram. Grams are much smaller. A US dollar bill, that weighs one gram or a standard paper clip or 20 drops of water. And to be exact, one kilogram is a thousand grams. Kilo, that means a thousand. This is something you, you must memorize if you're going to be able to convert from kilograms to grams and back. So let's try some problems. So we have our conversion factor here. Then we have this little graphic to help us convert from kilograms to grams and back. So give this one a try. If you have 2.2 kilograms, how many grams is that? So kilograms to grams, we multiply by a thousand. And that's a thousand grams in one kilogram. So grams per kilogram. That's important because now we have kilograms on the top and the bottom. They just cancel out. So 2.2 times a thousand, that equals 2,200 grams. And that makes sense. One kilograms, a thousand over two kilograms, right around two kilograms should be over 2000. And that's what we got. All right, pause, give this one a try. Convert 1.25 kilograms to grams. Kilograms to grams, multiply times a thousand. Remember, that's a thousand grams per kilogram. Kilograms cancel out. We're left with grams. That's what we're looking for. And we have 1,250 grams in 1 1.25 kilograms. All right, let's go back the other way, grams to kilograms. So let's say we start out with 1,500 grams. How do we get that to kilograms? So grams to kilograms, we divide by a thousand. And again, it's a thousand grams in one kilogram. Grams cancel out. We will be left with kilograms. We can go one, two, three places to the right. One, two, three and we end up with 1.5 over one. So just 1.5 kilograms, that's what's left. So 1,500 grams, 1 1.5 kilograms. Okay, so pause, give this one a try. Convert 1,750 grams to kilograms. Grams to kilograms, divide by a thousand. We have grams on the top and the bottom, they're gone. Move over one, two, three, one, two, three, and we get 1.75 kilograms. We don't really need this extra zero here. That's it. Let's try a different one. This gives students problems sometimes. Convert 320 grams to kilograms. So we take our grams, we divide by a thousand grams per kilogram. So grams cancel out, we'll be left with kilograms. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we end up with 0 0.320 or just 0 0.32 kilograms. Not too bad. Pause and give this one a try. Convert 715 grams to kilograms. So grams to kilograms, divide by a thousand grams per kilogram. Those are gone. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we have 0 0.715 over one. That just gives us 0 0.715 kilograms. So let's wrap up with two more practice problems and you'll be a pro at converting grams to kilograms and kilograms to grams. So pause, convert 10 grams to kilograms. So grams are gone, left with kilograms, and we go one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we'll put a zero here. So we have 0 0.010 over one. So we just write 0 0.01 kilograms. Okay, so one more, pause, do this one. Convert 0 0.52 kilograms to grams. 
So since we're multiplying by a thousand, you could just move the decimal place to the right, one, two, three, so we'd have to put a zero there, and we'd end up with 520 grams in 0 0.52 kilograms. So that's it. This is Dr. B converting grams to kilograms and kilograms to grams. Thanks for watching.